what? <laughs> That's tight as hell. Shit. This is hard! <laughs> <laughs> hey there, I'm Nev Miz and I like to make games. I'm currently making a first person speedrunning game called Singularium, where you summon black holes and use them to zip around levels. Last devlog, I showed you how I made my levels look a bit nicer with textures, and today I'll explain how I used some obstacles and props to make some super hard levels to torture my players. But before we get into that, if you think the game looks interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you could go wishlist it on Steam. It's free, and it's a massive help, because the more wishlists a game has, the more Steam pushes it to more people on launch. Also, if you want to test out the game, I now have a Patreon, where you can play alpha builds of the game for $5 a month. Patrons directly support me and the game's development. Plus, you guys get something really cool in return. Anyway, I started out by designing some more levels. I played around with the glow and the color of the cyberpunk levels, the lighting in the sewers, and I added a bunch of branching paths so the player will be able to explore them and discover which is the most optimal way to get to the finish line. Then a super talented artist named Jupiter Crusher from my Discord, which you should totally join by the way, link in the description, sent me these awesome 3D models for me to use in the game. The pipes will line the sewer walls, helping point you in the right direction. And these spikes here will be traps waiting there to kill the players who don't turn fast enough. I placed these spikes in specific locations in the level, like sharp turns or tight corridors. And this not only adds a lot of challenge to the game, it also encourages a certain playstyle, where you use wall runs to gain a bunch of speed and use your black holes to drift around corners, almost like a grappling hook but way cooler. This is a philosophy I use a lot in the game's development. How do I smoothly design the experience I want my players to have? I'm a big fan of the Game Maker's Toolkit channel, and Mark from there has a great video on this exact subject, which I'll link in the description. He talks about protecting players from themselves. Given the opportunity, players will optimize the fun out of the game. A great example from Singularium is the fact that with such a powerful movement mechanic, it seems natural that the best strategy would just be to spam left click to place black holes in front of you, but that wouldn't lead to very fun or cool looking gameplay. Instead, wall running gives you even more speed than just flying around with your black holes. Plus, the black holes themselves get stronger pulling strength the closer you are to them. This makes the player weave cleanly around corners and jump from wall to wall to maintain top speed, and makes them feel way cooler than they would have if they just spammed forward the whole time. Back to the levels, you can see my friends had some trouble getting through the levels now that they had some challenge to them. What? That's, that's tight as hell. This is hard! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I've also been working on a simple level editor for the game. I think if you guys could make custom levels and share them online, that would add so much depth and creativity to the game. I'll talk more about it when it's developed, but here's what I have so far. Well, that's all for today. Overall, I'm really enjoying working on Singularium. It's been almost six full months, which is pretty crazy to me. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe if you're not already. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and we're super close. Remember to wishlist the game on Steam, like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't, and till next time, bye. I'd also like to thank my amazing patrons, No Underscore, Dream366, Nathan Dumont, Logic Tom, and Scott G. You guys are the best. See ya.